ball to the docket. So like proper street ball. Any word on ultimate frisbee? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, they're going to be in Tokyo. They're uh -huh. trying to skewer younger. Yep. And why not? Uh, they may not get all the pros because they could be busy on the five versus yeah. five. Yeah, and it's like a different kind of style of game too. Yeah, so it's wide open. Let's have some fun with this. All and right. we're going to pick our dream three for the U.S. team. Nicole, you can start. Okay, Steph Curry is going to be my first one. He'll only be, what, 31 at the time? Mm. Okay, so I'm going with Steph. And then Giannis, the Greek freak. Whoa. Hold on. If this is my dream list, Fair then enough. my dream is that he's going to just Maybe he'll meet a nice American girl, become a <laughs> U.S. citizen. Well, I, like I don't know. There we go. And then I'm going to freeze LeBron because LeBron will be like, what, 35? Good thinking. In 2020. Cryogenics so would be really advanced. Cryogenically freeze LeBron, and then that's my team. All right, my starting that's three, I'm going to go with Russell Westbrook. What's he going to be? He's going to be 31. He can yep. do it all. And then I'm going to have my big man. I'm going to go with uh, Anthony Davis. Okay. Uh, he can protect the rim. I'm going to go young with my last one and go with Lonzo Ball. Longs of ball. There we go. Look at that. Nope. You, you and like I are not. You, you and I are not friends anymore. Wait a minute. You haven't even heard my assistant coach is going to be. You, no. Before you leave, make sure you have all the relevant information <laughs> because there is pizza in New York City in the middle of the night. Although Coach Herm says nothing good happens after midnight. Nothing so good happens after midnight. we do have to keep midnight. that in mind. Uh, but we go back to football. As we mentioned before, Ty Montgomery with us today and keeping the number 88. And You've played at a position with that number for at least a year and you switch from eligible position to eligible position. And you can keep that number as long as you stay with that team. And that's that's all I needed. See, leave it to the Stanford guy to do his research. <laughs> I, see, I see what you did there. Now, so in other words, if you had left the Packers, if you had sw switched positions and switched teams, you couldn't keep that number. Correct. Okay, fair enough, but you didn't. So number 88 is yours. <laughs> uh, not a running back number per se. Doesn't mean there hasn't been uh, some great with playing multiple positions, although I recognize it's completely different at the college level. But did your experience at Stanford help in this transition at all? Uh, I think so, and not only that. Amazing to be a foster parent, but this woman Boys, all boys, 17 boys. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I want to hear, what, what was that like, just before we even talk about your experience? Was it just crazy all the time? It was very competitive. Um, it was crazy. I l l helped or, or changed the way you approached uh, team sports later on? Yeah, I think so. Uh, one thing my brothers never... I wish I'd seen this. I got, you know, I, but I didn't happen to spy you. Where were you? Uh, we were in Chelsea Market, I believe oh, what it's called. Yes, that's exactly what it's called. By the way, I love that spot. Not bad, right? So many food places to eat in there, and I, I love to eat, so I was... I was pumped to be in there, but I wasn't too excited to be in that women's clothing store with my wife, so I tried to have some fun. I know exactly where you were. I was there an hour later, by the way. <laughs> they do have good pizza in Chelsea Market. Uh, another thing I think we have in common is a love of golf, and, 